Hey, back again with new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath. Now, fix YouTube channel. Poco F F I G. That it means not all. Turbo custom problems. Back with the Google Pixel OS here. Android version is 14 here. You can see the Easter egg here. That's how it is. And the Apple security patch is Apple 5 2024, which is latest one, guys. And build number you can check out. And kernel user 5.10.205. PBOS kernel has been used here. This is baseband version maintainer is Chaitanya. Thank you. For making this uh, rom for poco fi and this is typical home screen what we can get here you guys can see on this the quick settings toggles what we can get in this particular rom if i slide down these are the available things in the edit section there are few as you can see if you want you can drag them and add into the main array here i mean the quick settings toggles here comes the power button as you can see bug report has been added here it is very simple you i guess you won't get any customizations here this is all the apps i'm using coming to home screen again you get this wallpaper adding system if you go into wallpaper some style again in the home screen you actually get that ai wallpaper as you can see plenty are given once you go into imaginary just inspire me you will get download and you can directly apply it to wallpaper and emoji workshop again it's also available here you can make your own wallpaper using emotions and these are the other wallpapers pre-installed here if you slide down here you will get lock screen customization this is the only only visual change once we compare with android 13 there's the only visual change you can get in the android 14 and that's working fine here it is smooth definitely if you apply one among them you can actually change the color of it and even size of it as you can see that you can do and show notification on the lock screen and other lock screen options you get here that's how it is there's a lock screen customizations what you can get if i press hold again widget settings has been given here clock widget if you want to add the analog watch i will add it here and shape them here you can also customize press and hold again and readjust the size of it this is the home screen settings and home settings you get a pixel launcher you get search settings and at a glance you get plenty of things if you want you can disable or enable from here this is all the home screen custom dialer here guys you get uh, basic google dialer here direct to the call feature is also available and while making calls it will announce that other person you are recording the call but there is a pre-installed basic call recording here we'll cut the call here yeah and you get call recording feature also here and output format you can select now it is there that's really good even though it is a simple pixel kind of experience you also still get the basic call recording here camera you get proper me i mean the hyper is camera here you guys can see not a leica integrated here basic camera you will get 4k 30 here not 60 if you want to use any gcam ports that also you can do it from here that's the camera application and wiper fx has been there still even though it is a pixel is simple as it's still there apart from that everything i have installed here basic applications like calculator and other remains similar here we'll see some results first yeah into file manager again you can see i'll start with the geekbench scores again guys the version i used is 6.2.2 hence the scores are 16.94 is the single score and 4.419 is the multi-score and the version is 14 here and this is the anti to benchmark results the version is 10.2.4 the latest version this is and 11,60,417 is the score what i got and 5 degrees Celsius is the temperature raise and 5 percentage of battery has been dropped during this enter testing on this poco fi guys during this and to benchmark testing and these are the read write test with graphic and numerical interpolation and here comes the safety and status results based both basic integrity and cts profile match getting passed here including with this device is certified hence using payment applications is not a problem in this custom rom and this is all the drm information here you will get just hrd hdr 10 10 plus hlg no dolby vision certification has been done in this particular rom you need to note that guys and wide one level one certified hence you can watch all the audio application in high definition resolution and it will support 67 watt charging 
coming to UI, uh, we'll close this. Yeah, coming to UI, it's very simple and you will get pixel kind of experience here. Hence, it's a pixel OS in the system. You get all these options here in the gestures. Again, you get one handed mode, navigation mode, and swipe to three finger screenshot has been added here. In the navigation mode, it will remain simple here. And again, we'll come back and show you some other settings like security and privacy. You get both fingerprint and face unlock, no app lock here. Fingerprint unlock speeds, as you can see, yeah, maybe it's press anyhow. And we'll see the face unlock here. That's quite fast here very much fast and responsive both the face and fingerprint unlock let's check whether the fingerprint unlock you get pixel imprint touch to unlock in time let's see yeah that's how it is it is by default it was on uh, on a press side you need to use it touch anyhow and moving into other settings like accessibility menu and wallpaper and style display here you get this refresh rate i mean adaptive refresh rate option has been given now and tap to wake tap to sleep both the options are given colors you can modify here and other things you can do very similar to pixel OS here it's a, sorry pixel experience again ringtones and all doll bed nose certification has been there that's their here working fine and battery and battery life you can see here it's really good i can say initial impressions and battery saver you get extreme battery saver is missing and that's it this is the ui very smooth and responsive here haven't faced any issues the habric feedback strength is also very much superior here as you can see once you utilize this particular rom for a couple of days you'll come to know that let's see bjmi how it handles in this particular rom regarding graphic settings it's by default for poco f5 you get smooth plus 90 fps i mean the extreme flesh here and we'll see the gameplay. The Even in the counter attacks, so it's not getting any lag, anything here. <laughs> that was really thing to notice here. The gaming experience is really good for, for gamers that's a good sign and this is the volume panel what we can get here and these are the quick settings toggles you can actually slide them very much smooth guys the ui is really really smooth but also it's very much simple here no more customizations or anything like that yeah that's the gaming experience with 90 fps here that's really good handling very well and if you're still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular device the links are in the description if you want to follow me on the social media you can also follow them those links are also in the description check out flashing method what firmware i used everything will be given in the description check out that and watch this video again if you have any specific questions then ask me in the comment section check out other videos also coming on poco f5 uh, if you like the video give it a like guys and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is sampath guys we will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now